Chapter 38 I love it, I said. I ran upstairs to my room and went straight for the music box on my dresser, where I kept my charm bracelet. I grabbed the bracelet and ran back downstairs. See, I said, putting the key charm on and fastening it onto my wrist. It's a key, because you'll be driving soon, get it, Jeremiah said, leaning back in his chair and clasping his hands behind his head. I got it. I smiled to show him I did. Conrad leaned in for a closer look. Nice, he said. I held it in the palm of my other hand. I couldn't stop looking at it. I love it, I said again. But it's from Rheingold's. It must have been really expensive. Page 227 I saved up all summer to buy it, he said solemnly. I stared at him. No, you didn't. He broke into a smile. Fooled ya, gullible as ever, aren't you? Punching him on the arm, I said, I didn't believe you anyway, jerk, even though I had for a second. Jeremiah rubbed his arm where I'd punched it. It wasn't that expensive. Anyway, I'm big time now, remember? Don't worry about me. I'm just glad you like it. Yoli said you would. I hugged him fiercely. It's perfect. What a wonderful gift, Jar Susanna said. It's better than my old necklace, that's for sure. He laughed. Yeah, right, he said, but I could tell he was pleased. My mother got up and started cutting the cake. She wasn't a very good cake cutter. The pieces were too big and they fell apart on the sides. Who wants cake, she said, licking her finger. I'm not hungry, Conrad said abruptly. He stood up, looking at his watch. I've got to get dressed for work. Happy birthday, Belly. He went upstairs, and nobody said anything for a minute. Then my mother said loudly, This cake is delicious. Have some, Beck. She pushed a piece in front of her. Page 228 Smiling faintly, Susanna said, I'm not hungry either. You know what they say about the cook not having a taste for her own cooking. But you guys eat. I took a big bite. Mmm, yellow cake, my favorite. From scratch, my mother said.